what if we are not alone? Did you know that in our Milky Way galaxy alone, uh, scientists estimate there could be billions of Earth-like planets. What if intelligence has emerged on just a fraction of those? And what if one of them has sent a probe, a piece of technology, into our backyard? Because right now, in the vast black silence between the planets, NASA's deep space radar has detected something that frankly should not exist, a pulse, faint, rhythmic, and deliberate, emerging from the direction of three, I divided by Atlas, the mysterious interstellar visitor that's been puzzling the scientific establishment for months. It wasn't a background echo, not a signal glitch, not random space. It was a pattern repeating every 47 seconds. Something out there is pulsing. The story begins several weeks ago. NASA's Deep Space Network, a trio of massive radar antennas spread across California, Spain, and Australia, was tracking the trajectory of three I divided by Atlas, the green glowing visitor from interstellar space. It was routine observation walk measure its spin, map its trail, refine its orbit. But then something happened. A technician at the Goldstone complex noticed a blip, a subtle but distinct echo that didn't match the expected radar return. When they zoomed in, they realized it wasn't noise, it was structured. Every 47 seconds, a pulse of energy reflected back toward Earth. At first, they thought it might be interference, a satellite or cosmic ray. But after hours of data filtering, the pulse remained. In my field, anomalies are the most important data points. They are the breadcrumbs leading to new physics, yet the scientific consensus is often to ignore them. But this anomaly was too persistent to ignore. The signal was coming directly from three, I divided by Atlas itself. Now, in astronomy, objects reflect radar all the time, planets, asteroids, comets, even ice, but they reflect light passively. They don't respond. They don't emit structured feedback. What NASA was seeing looked eerily like a beacon, a consistent emission, modulating in both strength and timing. Not random, not chaotic, intentional. Within hours, scientists at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena were brought in. Then Harvard's astrophysics team joined the investigation, cross-referencing data from optical telescopes. And the strangest part, the pulse wasn't confined to radio waves. The James Webb Space Telescope also picked up subtle infrared variations, heat signatures synchronized to the same 47 second rhythm. It was as though the object was breathing. This cross correlation between radar and infrared is profoundly important. It tells us the phenomenon is not an artifact of one instrument. It is real. The energy emission and the thermal signature are linked. This is the hallmark of a system, not a coincidence. When data from multiple independent systems converges on an anomaly, it is intellectual negligence to dismiss it as noise. The implications are staggering. No known natural object emits perfectly timed pulses like this. We must follow the data. Even a rotating comet or tumbling asteroid would produce uneven, chaotic reflections. This was different, smooth, precise, repeating. And three, I divided by Atlas, unlike any comet we've ever observed, isn't following the laws we expected. Many of you remember when the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, entered our solar system back in 2017, it too puzzled scientists. It sped up without explanation, showed no visible jets of gas, no cometary tail, and tumbled in ways that made no sense. At the time, I suggested, based on the evidence, that it might be an artificial probe, perhaps a light sail sent from another civilization. The establishment, well, they dismissed the idea. But science is not about consensus. It is about evidence. Now with three, I divided by Atlas, the same questions are returning, louder than ever. NASA's internal memo, leaked just days ago, used the phrase that sent chills through the scientific community, non-random periodicity confirmed. That means this pulse is real and consistent across instruments. The question is what could produce it? Let us, in the spirit of good science, consider 
the natural explanations first. Some colleagues believe the pulse could be caused by reflective materials within three, I divided by atlas, layers of ice or metallic dust catching sunlight as the object spins. But for that to create a perfect 47 second rhythm, the object's rotation would have to be unbelievably stable, like a precision engineered gyroscope. That level of stability simply doesn't occur in nature, especially not in something that's traveled for millions of years through the chaos of interstellar space. That explanation requires us to believe in a miracle of natural alignment, which seems far more extraordinary than technology. We are asked to accept the impossible rather than entertain the plausible. Uh, others have suggested that it might be an internal reaction, pressure building and releasing as ice sublimates, but again, no such process produces periodic radar pulses across multiple wavelengths. NASA's uh, radar team ran simulation after simulation and every one of them failed to recreate the observed pattern. So what does that leave? Something else, something beyond the ordinary. Uh, when the first data was shared with international observatories, uh, the European Space Agency's tracking center in Darmstadt confirmed the anomaly. They too detected the pulse. In fact, their instruments picked up faint harmonic frequencies, smaller pulses hidden within the main one, like nested signals. Each harmonic was perfectly spaced. This discovery of, of harmonics is, is perhaps the most critical piece of data. Nature is noisy. It produces fundamental frequencies, but rarely does it produce clean, mathematically spaced harmonics. That is the domain of engineering. It is what a radio engineer does to encode information, suggesting an organized system rather than a chaotic natural process. That's when the speculation began to grow. Could this be a form of communication or some kind of ancient propulsion mechanism still operating after eons of drifting through the void? It's hard not to wonder because what we're witnessing feels eerily familiar to something humanity itself once did. Remember the Voyager probes, those golden disks we sent into space carrying the sounds of Earth, our music, our greetings, our story, hoping that one day someone somewhere might hear them. Maybe, just maybe, we're now on the receiving end. Imagine this. A civilization long before us sends objects like 3i divided by atlas across the galaxy. Carriers of information powered by self-regulating energy systems that awaken when they approach a star. Over millions of years, some of them break apart, some go dormant, and some reach curious young civilizations like ours. It's a thought that both excites and humbles me. NASA's deep space radar arrays have since been operating around the clock trying to decode the structure of the pulse. It's not Morse code, not binary, not random static. But when they plotted the signal frequency over time, something emerged, a sequence that repeated in prime number intervals, two, three, five, seven. To mathematicians, to physicists, that pattern is profound. Prime numbers are the atoms of mathematics. They are universal. They don't depend on language, culture, or biology. They're the same everywhere. It's as if something or someone wanted to announce, we understand mathematics, we understand order. This is the calling card of intelligence. But then comes the haunting question, is it still active? Or are we listening to a beacon from something long dead, an echo of intelligence that vanished millions of years ago? Astronomers at the Harvard Smithsonian have noted another detail, the pulse intensity changes slightly depending on solar wind activity, almost as if three, I divided by Atlas, reacts to its environment. That's not normal behavior for a comet. It's responsive, dynamic. This responsiveness is key. A dead rock does not react. A comet does not adjust its behavior based on the solar wind. A machine, however, might a probe designed to gather energy from a star system might modulate its intake based on stellar activity. This is not passive geology, it is active physics. NASA's data also reveals a peculiar thermal profile. 
While most comets swarm unevenly as they approach the sun, 3i divided by Atlas maintains localized heat zones, tiny hot spots that appear, fade, and reappear across its surface in synchronization with the pulse. That alone has scientists whispering about something extraordinary. Internal energy regulation. According to our limited understanding of comets, it shouldn't be possible. But then again, so many things once seemed impossible until we saw them happen. We must not let our assumptions filter the data. Think about the first time humans watched the Earth rise from the moon. The first time we heard the cosmic microwave background, the literal echo of the Big Bang, we have a long history of disbelief turning into discovery. Maybe this is another moment like that. Now, let's look at the bigger picture. 3, I divided by Atlas, isn't just any interstellar object. It's the third known visitor from beyond our solar system after Oumuamua and 2, I divided by Borisov. Each has behaved differently, as if each carries a distinct purpose. Oumuamua was an accelerator. Borisov looked like a familiar comet, 3i divided by Atlas pulses. It's as though something or someone has been sending scouts, each one slightly different, to see how we react. Of course, NASA won't make any claims of uh, extraterrestrial intelligence. They're cautious methodical. The official statement simply says, we are observing an unusual pattern in the radar echo currently under investigation. But off the record, some scientists and colleagues are admitting they've never seen anything like it. This is the conservatism of science. It protects against error, but it also risks blinding us to revolution. Meanwhile, amateur astronomers across the world are capturing faint flashes from three I divided by Atlas, in time-lapse footage, the object seems to shimmer, pulsing faintly even through standard telescopes, a cosmic heartbeat visible across millions of miles. And yet, we must be careful not to leap to conclusions. Space is a realm of surprises, and nature has a way of defying our expectations. Perhaps this is a natural phenomenon, one we simply don't yet understand. After all, there was a time when lightning was thought to be the anger of gods. Then we learned it was electricity. Um, maybe three, I divided by Atlas, is teaching us another secret of the universe, uh, one we haven't decoded yet. But we must ask, what is the simpler explanation? A new, unknown law of physics that perfectly mimics mathematics and technology, or the existence of other technology? Still, one can't uh, ignore the poetry of it all. In a cosmos that's been silent for so long, the idea that something might be speaking, even faintly, is deeply moving. Humanity has always longed for connection, for meaning beyond our small blue world. Maybe this is the universe's way of reminding us that we're part of something grander, something ancient and, and ongoing. NASA plans to keep the deep space radar trained on three I divided by Atlas for as long as possible. If the pulse continues or evolves, we may soon have enough data to determine its true nature. But one thing is already certain. Three um, I divided by Atlas is unlike anything we've ever encountered. It challenges our assumptions about what can exist. So what happens next? In the coming weeks, NASA and the European Space Agency will coordinate a joint radar sweep to triangulate the signal source more precisely. The James Webb Telescope will conduct high-resolution thermal mapping, and radio astronomers at SETI are preparing to listen for secondary frequencies in case there's more hidden within the main pulse. This is why the search is so critical. This is not a niche academic exercise. We are investing billions in searching for microbial life on Mars, yet we are hesitant to invest in searching for technological signatures passing right through our backyard. We must pivot. We must prioritize the search for unusuals like three I divided by Atlas. If any of these efforts reveal intentional modulation, encoded data, mathematical structures, or even message patterns, 
it would represent one of the greatest discoveries in human history, not just a sign of life beyond Earth, but a direct sign of intelligence. But even if it turns out to be purely natural, 3i divided by Atlas is still a messenger, a traveler from another star system, carrying with it the chemistry and physics of places we've never seen. Studying it will help us understand the origins of life, the birth of planets and the intricate choreography of our galaxy. So whether it's a machine, a miracle or a mystery, it's a gift. So what is the lesson in all of this? The true lesson from 3i divided by Atlas is the value of humility. We must have the humility to accept that we may not be the most intelligent actors on the cosmic stage. We must look at the sky not with arrogance, assuming everything is a rock, but with curiosity, prepared to find anything. The universe is not required to conform to our textbooks. I am genuinely curious uh, what you think. Based on the evidence we've discussed, do you believe the pulse from 3, I divided by Atlas, is a strange new natural phenomenon, or is it something far greater? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, if you too believe that uh, we must follow the evidence, no matter how extraordinary, uh, please subscribe to this channel for more updates. Because one day, soon, perhaps sooner than we think, humanity might not just detect a pulse from the cosmos, we might finally answer it. And when that day comes, we'll realize that the universe was never silent. It's been singing all along, waiting for us to learn the rhythm. Because someday soon we may realize that the universe has been whispering to us all along. And now finally we are listening.